Hello, this is Michael, and I'm here with Jason from God Module. You've covered some bands throughout the years that were some of your biggest influences, like The Cure, Depeche Mode, and Gary Newman. And at the Tempe show, for sure, you played your cover of Rats Round and Round, which I would assume you're doing throughout this tour. Um, seeing as any influence isn't as obvious with an 80s metal band, why did you choose to cover this song? Well, um, we had to do it for, we didn't have to do it, but we decided to do it for a compilation for a club in L.A. called Das Bunker. And I'd liked the song since I was like 10 years old. And um, I thought about going around the normal route and picking out something that made more sense to me, you know, and the music that we did. But I just kind of wanted to do it more as a tongue-in-cheek, fun and the weird thing, I'll be honest, you know, I was playing it a lot on rock band at the time. So I was, <laughs> I was having a lot of fun singing it. So I was like, well, I'll just fucking go ahead and do it. So, yeah, it was never, it wasn't like, here's my great influence rat on my music. But at the same time, it was, it was something that was important to me. There was like a weird picture of me when I was like 10 or 11 years old. And I just got my ear pierced and thought I was all cool. And I have like a rat t-shirt on. But, uh, you'll never see that. Sh but I mean, at least now you know about it. And it does exist. So yeah, it's been something that's been like around for a while, but not totally influential on God Module, I don't right. think, man. Cool, because I'm not an 80s metal fan, so that was really good to hear. Um, and also, if anyone has that picture, send it to coma-online.com. That would be my mom. She better not do it. The God Module video for Doppelganger is basically a collage tribute to some inspirational, if I can use that term, movies, mm -hmm. and contains part of a scene in the movie, Hobo with a Shotgun, where uh, bikini clad girls dancing in a fountain of blood from a severed head which is actually the severed head of uh, Ricky from Trailer Park Boys I don't know if you're familiar with them awesome um, it's an awesome video did you put it all together yourself and whatever happened to the video for rituals okay so that video really is um, it, it seems like it came out and kind of tricked people into thinking it was a video but it's just part of our backing live track um, which has been put together by me and years ago by Byron, who used to be in God Module. So it's kind of like a big conglomeration of different scenes. Um, the newest stuff, like the hobo with the shotgun scene and some of the stuff that's from Seance, some of the imagery from the new CD, that was put together for the last Kinetic show. So I just like went in, took a lot of stuff out basically and chopped it up and it kind of seemed like it went with the song in a couple parts, which was completely accidental. So it seemed kind of cool, so we put it out. But, um, the main reason we did that is we do have a video ready to go for rituals and we've been in post-production for a little while and it's going to be like kind of Clinton and I came up with it and Courtney came up with some other stuff and we were like well this actually sounds like a cool idea so instead of like because I'll just be honest most of the videos that come out in the scene are garbage I mean and it's not really it's like the people who do them you know I think they either don't have enough money to do what they're trying to do or it just comes off kind of laughable sometimes. So we really want to make sure that if we do it, we don't try to overextend ourselves and be like, well, here's this, you know, five minute horror movie with a $50 budget, you know, because it'll just make us look retarded. So basically it's like, it's very dark, sexual, kind of demonic premise. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Going right around that sample and it'll have to do with a lot of the stuff that has to do with the imagery we used on seance and there's a Ouija board involved and some other things and I don't want to go too deep into it but we are going to go ahead and um, film that probably in November so it should be out by the end of the year all right well I look forward to that uh, I've been looking forward to it for what the past six months or so Me too. Um, everything just got so crazy getting ready for the tour and stuff that we just didn't have time and Clint had like an art show coming up and every time we would try to get time together to do it it just didn't work out so but it will work out it will work out I sure hope so God Module the God Mod is probably my favorite uh, band in industrial music so maybe I'm a little partial in my asking this question but how was this the decision for Imperative Reaction to headline the tour made instead of God Module okay so um for like the past five years, I'd say, we've been talking about going out together. And not really because our styles are like exactly the same, but just we've been friends for a long time. And um, as time went by, the whole situation with Byron leaving and um, Clint joining the band the same day um, ended up, well, we won't go into that part, but, but the whole point is it's a, it was a quick decision. And Clint's a really good friend of mine. 
He's an imperative reaction. He's in system send. Now he's in God module. And he's a fucking renaissance man or whatever. But still, <laughs> it all comes down to the point that we're all really good friends. And um, a lot of people have asked why we're not doing the headlining spot. And it's at this point, you know, it's because they really are my friends. We've been doing it about the same amount of time. I think they might be a little bit of an older band than us. So it's not really like a seniority situation other than the fact that Ted's been working his ass off the last like four or five years. I mean, they've toured with Covenant, Combi Christ, anybody they could go out with, Tour Tiger Army, all kind of, which is one of my favorite bands. So I want to tour Tiger Army. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so and out there, yeah. But the whole thing is, is um, just out of respect for the fact that how much work he's put into it, where within the past four or five years at the same time, I like moved from Orlando to Seattle and Courtney and I tried to get our lives kind of normal and God Mulder wasn't really on the back burner, but we didn't have time to go out there and tour as much. So it's like, it just seems like they had a little bit of a higher profile and I know how hard he's been trying and he is one of my best friends. So it's just total, completely cool situation with that going that way. And I didn't even really try to push it either way. It's like, it just, however it happened, it happened. No one really ever talked about it too much. It probably came from <laughs> their management side, of course, but, and it was nothing like, we're gonna go on because we're bigger than you or this and that. You know, it was just like, let's just all go on tour and have fun, kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> or you could just split, you know, one half is one half. Yeah, we thought about that too, but um, <laughs> no, it just, it was kind of a thing. And, and a lot of people think it's strange to you because we are like headlining the golf cruise, which is the center part of this thing. And But I think that's more because it is the golf cruise and God Module is seen more as the darker band. Yeah, but it's it's one of those things where, I mean, I don't think it's an ego issue involved. I think they'd be fine playing before us. We'd be fine playing after them. It just on this particular tour, it's just going the way it is right now. Well, that's good that you guys can get along well enough to not butt heads on the issue. Well, speaking of Clint Carney, since we went there, uh, uh, is this tour the beginning of Clint Carney's grand scheme to take over the world? No, I think it's probably the beginning of uh, Clint Carney's slow demise of turning into like dust from doing too much shit. <laughs> I don't, I don't think he'll be able to take over anything when it's all over. But um, no, it's like uh, no one really thought it was the best idea for him to be in all three bands. But then at the same time, since it's so ancestral with everybody, and as you guys will see tonight, like um, on a on Rituals, there was a remix we did. Well, not really a remix, but an alternate version of the song that Clint sings where Adam plays guitar. Yeah, and he'll come out and play tonight with us. So it's like we're flipping around constantly throughout the whole show. So it just seemed like it was a good idea for us all to finally do it together kind of deal. So, but yeah, he's, he's not taking over anything. Don't worry about that. <laughs> is he, uh, how is he de to deal with after the end of the night? I mean, is he completely drained and... Uh, yeah, it's it's easy to deal with him because he's like a zombie, you know. So, and then, <laughs> so he's fine, you know. It's, it's, so you put a bullet in his head. Yeah, you totally could. Yeah, you could just like cut his head off, put a bullet in his head. But you don't even have to really. You can just like point him towards his room, and he'll just go straight in the bed and fall down and go to sleep. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, well, like you just said, Adam Vex is joining God Module on stage for the song "Remember," and uh, just like he did on the remix for the song on "Rituals." Uh, does having a guitar part with this track make you want to make use of guitar in God Module? Not in God Module. Like, I mean, it can be part of God Module in the sense like how we did it where it's a alternate thing. I have no intention of ever turning my band into live drum, live guitar band. It's Thank just, you. I mean, it's just, everybody does it now. It's getting so old, I'm tired of it. You know, I, I liked electronic music when I started off because it was so completely fucking different, you know? And now it seems like all these bands that were really different are having to not be to be able to fit in, and that seems like... And sell records. Yeah, completely, yeah. Because, I mean, a lot of people do go to a show and they're like, where's this music coming from, you know? Where's the drummer at, blah, 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 blah. And if I ever decide to have a live drummer on the CD, I might have a live drummer on stage. But a lot of these bands now, and I'm not naming any names, of course, but <laughs> there's a lot of live drums. And you listen to the CD and you're like, this shit's nowhere to be found, you know? And so that, I think that's more just a accessibility situation. And I could give a fuck less about that. I mean, I think people like God Module for the fact of what it is. So I don't want to change it. Okay. 
Awesome. That's good to hear. Uh, man that sticks with his uh, sticks with his gun.